This video tutorial illustrates how I provide contextual feedback for submitted labs. Students submit a link in Canvas and I click on that link to open up their GitHub repository. Uh, navigate to one file in which I want to provide feedback and actually edit that file. Um, I can make some actual edits if I want, for example showing proper use of javadoc tags in this case. Um, but I can also just add spaces to the end of lines where I want to be able to go back and provide contextual comments later. Uh, so they're using a new random object here which I want to comment on in the while loop, both of which I want to make comments. So I scroll through the file adding a space or making corrections and then I create a new branch and start a pull request and I always call it feedback so they can find it easily. Uh, after I create that I name the uh, pull request feedback as well to match the branch. Uh, and once it's created now, I can click on the files changed and actually look at some of the edits I made. I can click on the little plus icon there and leave a comment. A lot of the comments um, show up over and over again, so I keep a text document of the most common comments so I can easily copy and paste them into my contextual feedback. Um, in the case here of um, the random object, I want to think it's great that he used an object that we had learned about earlier in the unit and then we haven't done loops yet so it was wonderful he applied his knowledge of Python to make looping work in, in Java. Um, once I've edited that file then I want to actually look at the code and run it on my computer in BlueJ. So I clone the repository uh, to my local computer, open up the project, um, and then I can actually run it. Uh, so I'll compile it, run it, make sure it works as expected. Um, I've already looked at the code. This is a pretty simple lab, so I don't look at it again. Uh, it's a pretty cool pattern, so this is something I'm going to definitely want to promote at my school. So I'm going to screenshot it so I can make some slides and share this throughout the school later. Um, I then can you know, quit BlueJ here and switch back to... Um, GitHub to leave in an additional comment. So I'm going to leave a general comment here because I think it's a really cool pattern and I just like what he did. Uh, so I'll comment on that with the pull request in, in general. At this point everything is done and I just simply mark the assignment as complete um, so the student knows to go check GitHub to see my feedback.